Okay, in this video we're going to show you um, the operation of the system for a complete study. Let's say we um, we're pretending we're doing we're doing a um, lower extremities um, arterial study, and then we're we're going to see all the different steps from the patient information to the end of the study, annotations, uh, measurements, report, um, how we see the images, and how we end the study. So. Before beginning the new study, um, select the application you want to do. You go to this little arrow here in the upper right corner of the monitor. When you click there, you will see a menu of all the different studies you can do with this ultrasound system. And then you have a vascular section with a carotid, you know, peripheral arterial, peripheral venous, uh, interventional, so small parts, thyroid, MSK, anesthesia, fast, exam. So in this case, we're going to do um, peripheral arterial. When you select that, then you see here it says peripheral arterial in the upper uh, left corner of the monitor. To begin the new study, as we um, were saying in a previous menu um, video, you go to this little icon, the human icon here. When you touch there, then you will see it's the patient form. There's the, the cursor is there blinking in the patient ID. Uh, let's pretend we do a patient ID. I'm typing using the, the keyboard on the system. I'm using the keyboard here. So I don't think you don't, you don't need to see this. You know, when you see me typing, um, I'm using that, okay? Um, let's go back here to the image. Okay, so uh, let's type next, uh, for the go to next uh, field, which is last name, I will use the tab key. Then my cursor is there in the last name um, field. I will put the last name, okay? Back, uh, tap, first name, John. Tap, middle name, say M. Tap, then I have the birth date, um, say 05, 23, 1980. You see the age, then you see the gender, you can touch, male. And then you can fill any of this information if you want to, the comments or indication, or put your, your initials here for your, um, for the operator. So you, you have the option to have a password if you want. So I don't have any password here. You just click OK. And then I don't have any password for, for this operator, but this machine can have passwords for different operators. So when, you're, when you're, done, you're done with the patient information key, then you go to exit in the lower left corner of the monitor. You click exit, and then you're ready to begin the study. Okay? Um, we already um, saw in a different video how to change gain and depth and all that. I'm scanning here myself. Uh, let's pretend we're doing... Uh, peripheral arterial, I'm scanning my my leg, um, the uh, popliteal artery. Um, if you need to change the gain, you see the gain bottom here, the slider, see, you see the gain is changing there. Uh, if you need to change the depth, depth, and then use the slider, down will be deeper, um, up will be shallower, okay? Um, I already showed you um, how to change the frequency. So if you need to go deeper, Click here, OPT option, left side of the, see my finger, OPT, and then instead of using resolution, which is 12 megahertz, I, I, I rather use penetration, which is um, uh, eight megahertz, then you will get more penetration. In this case, it's not needed. Gen will be 10 megahertz, that looks nice, okay? Or even res looks good in my case, okay? Um, so let's say I want to use color flow. Let me change the depth a little bit shallower here. There you are. Now we're doing four centimeters. You can read that here in this number, D 4.0. And um, let's use color. I click here where it says CF, color flow. Then you see the box for the color. Okay, I'm getting some, my color there, boom. Okay. If you need to change the gain for the color, see gain is already selected. This will be the slider. Up will be less gain. Down will be more gain. You are, I have my gain there. Um, when they want, if I need to move the box here, I touch it with my finger and I move it, okay? You see? I move it down again. If I need to change this, the shape of it, okay, or the size, I click on any of the, of the borders, okay? And then you see now uh, it will be seen like this, dotted line, and now you can play with the, with the size, see, with the finger, just, Move the fingers you want, and then change the size of it. Okay. If you need 
to so click again in the in the lines and then you will see the the, the solid line that means that you can you're now able to drag it around the, the screen okay um, now let's use the PW uh, function in the upper left side you see PW when you click there then you see the, the PW gate okay and then if you need to move it uh, here there you are okay just touch it and move it and now I'm getting the waveform down here to change the gain this is my gain for the PW if I need to change the scale then you see here PRF okay and I will put the lower scale that looks better now or here to freeze this is your freeze bottom here after freezing you can still change your gain see the gain bottom you have post processing so you can put more gain there or less gain okay you can change the baseline see it says baseline then you can move it up or down okay this uh, works um, opposite so when you move this slider down the baseline goes up and then up and the baseline goes down um, so when you're ready to measure that in the left side of the, the, um, the monitor you see the, this little like scale um, icon click there and the machine will give you uh, different options for Doppler measurements. So one of them is velocity, the other one is time, and resistance index, um, and semi-auto trace. So the machine can also do um, auto calculations for you. Um, let's say we're doing label measurements. Label measurements is um, what you want to use in order to be able to see a report at the end. So in this case, I'm doing right. See, it says right and left. Here's left, right, uh, proximal, or mid, or distal, okay? and then you select the section of the um, or, or the artery you want to measure in this case let's say popliteal okay uh, pig systolic and then you use your finger to drag the pig systolic um, caliper there and then you have an end diastolic you just drag again and then you go to end diastolic and then you have those measurements you can read them in the upper left corner of the monitor which says pig systolic and diastolic and you're ready to save that picture. You will hear it with a save in the right lower corner, save, and then you're ready to save that picture, okay? Then we go live again, clicking um, here in the upper left corner. You see this arrow, uh, this icon here, click 2D, and then you're scanning again. So, so let's do it one more time. So, okay, we are scanning. Oh, let's pretend we are doing a, an annotation. So I want to put, put an annotation on the monitor uh, where it says ABC. You click there and then you will see this uh, uh, cursor that you can put it wherever you want. And then you can type. You can either type using the, the keyboard. You can type yourself and then let's say put left um, pop R3, okay? Or you can use um, the, the menu with the annotations you have in the left side of the monitor. So in this case, let's say left, okay? Pop, I don't see it in this menu, so I click here to the second menu, and there you are, pop it deal. And then I can type A for R3, okay? So that's, and then you can use your finger to drag it around the, the, the monitor, okay? Um, if you ever need to um, delete those uh, annotations, you see here in the lower left side of the monitor, it says clear. When you click clear, the annotation goes away. So let's do it one more time. So I want to put an annotation there. Let's say we're beginning the study in the right side, right CFA. So I click here ABC, right uh, CFA, and I drag it and I put it wherever I want, okay? And I begin to scan, okay? Here, I'm scanning. Uh, the right CFA, uh, somewhere there, you are. So to go back to my controls, I click ABC again, or sorry, here, and then that menu goes away. So I have my 2D um, controls again. So let's say I want to change my gain, less gain, okay, color, CF, you see the color there. move the color box 
there. Your gain for the color here. So to change the angle of the color box, here it says angle steer. When I click there, you can change the angle of the color box and then move it. For um, for the PW, we go to PW. We put the gate there, and you have your waveform. If you need to change your scale, PRF. I'll, I change my scale. If I need to change my baseline, here it says baseline and I move the slider to change the baseline position. Gain again to change the gain of the Doppler. And freeze bottom. So I want to measure. I will get to the measurement. And then I will tell the machine, well, this is right um, um, CFA. Okay, pixel systolic. I use my finger to put in the pixel systolic and diastolic, I drag it and then click and diastolic and then you have the, the annotation, the, the measurements there. When you want to store the image, click save, okay? So as you can see, we already did, um, did um, two measurements, two um, different sections, um, and I want now to close the study, okay? But before closing the study, before ending the study, I want to see my report, I want to see those uh, measurements, okay? I want to the report, um, option which is here in this little arrow then it says report then the machine goes to the report you need to tell the machine okay i'm doing vascular and then it will show you the the um, the measurements you have in the study okay if you want to um print those um you can use this print bottom and then they can go to a printer um if you have different pages here you says select page you can go to the next one okay um uh, you can also send this in a PDF uh, format when you click here preview. So you were doing here report. If you want to go to preview, then you can have the clinic logo in this side with all the clinic information and then all the patient information and the measurements and your comments. And then this can be um, transferred to a PDF, uh, to a USB memory be, um, using PDF format. So when you click here PDF export, um, the machine will find the, the, um, the network and then send the study or the report to that um, particular location in the network or in the USB memory. Um, if you put, want to put some comments, go back to report. Here in the lower left side, it says comments. And then you can type your comments there. Okay. And those comments will be um, seen in the PDF report as well. You know, when you go here to preview, you see those comments are there, okay? Um, when you want to exit the report section, you click here in the lower lower left corner, it says exit, and then you go back to the um, ultrasound screen. Um, let's say I want to see my images. I go to the list, uh, little um, arrow here in the upper left corner. It says eView, eView, okay? When you click there, eView, the second line, the machine shows you the image you have in the study. So let's say I, I don't want this image. I can select it, just touch it. You see the white um, borders. And then in the lower side, it says delete. And then you can delete that image. In this case, I would say no, no, it's not deleted. Um, this is your e-view. The e-view can be seen like in different formats. This is two by two. This is four by four. Four uh, here, three by three. Only one image, one by one. If you want to go to the second one, it says select page, go to the next one here. Um, when you're finished with this, you can click exit in the lower left side. Boom. And to end the study, you go to this little arrow again, and then it says NXM. See the machine says archiving in progress, and then the study is already um, stored in the system memory. If you want to see that um, study or transfer the study to a USB memory or network location or packs, then you go here to this little arrow again, go to browser, and then you will see that studies here, jump back, 
you see the, the images in the bottom of the monitor. And then from here, you can click Save As or Send or Export to send to different um, locations. So when you're doing a USB memory, you want to use Save As. When you're sending directly to a PAX, you will use Send, okay? Send is where you send directly to a PAX or to a folder in the, in the network. Or you can use the option Export, where you can also, um, you need to set up a study, Export, where you can send the, the information of the patient in DICOM format to any uh, device you want, to a USB, a USB hard drive, to a network folder, whatever you want, okay? In, uh, in another video, we're going to check you how, we're gonna check uh, how to transfer the study to a USB memory. Okay, thank you.